Hello YouTube, this is Pete from Good Reset and today I'll try to help you out with the Windows Sleep Mode problem. Ok, there are 6 most common fixes for your Windows 10 Sleep Mode problem and let's go through them one by one. Let's start with Power CFG option which is basically a command line tool. To do that, hit your Cortana icon or search icon and then write CMD. Right click on it and then run as administrator. It's very important to run it as an administrator. Then all you have to do is to write power CFG and then with option H, which means that we are addressing hibernate mode and just switch it off. And this basically means that you are switching off hibernate uh, from your system. Uh, try it out. Let's see if that helps for you or not. In case if it, it's not, then go back to your common line running it again as an administrator and then switch it on. Um, option number two is basically to check your system updates. What you need to do is to hit start button and go to settings. Then what you're looking for is updates and security. And simply hit that button which says check for updates. And let's see if you have any updates there. Now we are doing that because uh, many problems with sleep mode in Windows 10 are caused by incorrect or old version of drivers within your system uh, and also drivers for your devices. So what you need to make sure is that you have latest drivers for all your devices that you have than the Microsoft provided. Um, in case you have here um, something to install, then of course install it and let's see if that helps. If not, then what you also can try out is option number three, which is check your um, device manager. To do that, go to control panel. In case you don't have a control panel icon on taskbar, then just go to your Cortana, simply write, uh, excuse me, control, control, there you go, open it up, and what we are looking for is system, then device manager. Here you have all your devices within your system listed. What you are looking for is exclamation mark next to device name. In case you have that, it means that there is something wrong with the driver for that particular device. If you have such a cases, then uh, right click on particular device and then hit update driver software. In most of the cases you would want to search automatically for update Alternatively, you can go to properties and on driver tab you have update driver. It's the same thing. It takes you to the same screen. Um, if you update it correctly and correct drivers are applied, then exclamation mark should disappear. Uh, ultimately, what you are looking for is to have device manager without any exclamation marks the same way as mine. Once you achieve that, then you can restart your system and then try your sleep mode again. Um, one another thing here is um, issue with Intel management version. Some of the folks on the internet reports that when once you go to system devices, then Intel management engine interface right click on it and check your driver version the only version that is working for them somehow is 9.5 uh, in case you have an older version of uh, that driver just google management engine interface uh, 9.5 and download that driver and install it 
I'll put the, the name of the driver in the description along with the link to it. Uh, you may want to try if that helps or not. Okay, and second to the last fix that I have for you is to check out your power settings within um, your power settings, power options, excuse me, and then hit change plan settings next to your plan and then go to advanced power settings. What we are looking for is hard disk option and then uh, setting related to turn off hard disk after uh, you may want to try to set it to never and see if that helps for you or not one watch out here that it may cause some of the laptops overheat when they are in sleep mode and a uh, hard disk is uh, turned on so just keep that in mind another option that you want to explore is sleep and then Allo hybrid sleep. Make sure you have this option to set to off. Then apply your changes. Done and try it out. If you still have problems with Windows sleep mode, what you're left to do is to check again um, power CFG options and uh, export out all your errors that you have related to power settings. Uh, in order to do that, just again open the command line again remember to open it in administrator mode and then what you need to do is to write this one You need to output your power settings into the HTML file. Just create a folder for your file. I'll call it log uh, on my C drive and then paste your path to a power CFG command. Uh, so log and then log HTML file. Now wait a bit because this may take around a minute before uh, Power CFG collect um, power data for you um, related to your system and then let's review it together. Okay, there you go. Um, we have now all the information related to power and energy uh, for my system uh, collected and saved to log HTML file and let's check it out. Now all the red stuff that you have here are errors related to power um, for your system. You need to go through them one by one and check what you can do in order to fix them. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe, comment if this helped you or not and best of luck.